There are two causes of kidney failure in America, and the good news is for both of these causes, the solution is the same to both of them. The number one cause of kidney failure in America is diabetes, and the number two cause is high blood pressure. Now, my name is Dr. Story. I've been a doctor of chiropractic for over 28 years. I'm gonna give you some natural solutions to try to get these under control so that you can not end up with kidney failure and on dialysis three times a week for the rest of your life. This is gonna be a five step process and it's very important that you do all five because you wanna put all the cards in your favor. The first solution is you gotta stop eating all processed foods. I don't care if you do carnivore or vegan or vegetarian or zone or Atkins or whatever. It doesn't really matter what diet you follow. What matters is you stop eating highly processed foods because all these diets, they all are fighting about which food is bad for you and which, which food is the only food you're supposed to eat and what's the human diet. And the reality is they're all really saying the same thing, which is stop eating processed foods. This is gonna help your blood sugar and therefore help your blood pressure. What you're really attempting to do is to stop the severe blood sugar spikes so that when you eat pastas or cakes or cookies or potato chips, what happens is you get a severe spike in your blood sugar. Then your pancreas really has to react to this and secrete a tremendous amount of insulin. Well then as you start gaining weight, your, body, your pancreas just can't keep up with the demands of these blood sugar spikes. So if you were to eat, let's say, a chicken breast with broccoli and olive oil, your blood sugar spike will not go up. It'll pretty much stay level. The same thing as if you just ate a steak, your blood sugar will stay level. These are important things to understand that the processed foods, they just have to go. The second thing that you can do is start walking after each meal. Now you don't have to walk a lot. We're talking 10, 15 minutes or something like that. The good news is for many people that are doing an OMAD diet or just eating twice a day, you only have to walk twice a day. But if you're eating three times a day or four or five times a day, it would be beneficial to walk after the meal. The reason why is because that will severely lower your blood sugar if you're getting a blood sugar spike. So what happens is there's a muscle in your calf called a soleus and this muscle utilizes a lot of blood sugar for activity and when you walk you're really activating that muscle. Research has shown that you can decrease your blood sugar by a significant amount just with a 10-15 minute walk after you eat. So it's important that you walk after you eat not before. Don't eat throughout the entire day and then walk at night for an hour. It would actually be more beneficial to break up the walks after. A now, having said that, most people do not eat a very good diet. So one of the nutrients, it's a mineral and an electrolyte that like literally over 90% of people do not get enough of is magnesium. So you need a magnesium supplement. This is gonna help your blood sugar. This is gonna help your blood pressure and it's gonna be overall a great supplement for you. So the one that I personally like is this one. It's from Bioptimizers. It's called Magnesium Breakthrough. The thing I like about it is it's got seven different types of magnesium and they're very absorbable. And I'll tell you what, I love this stuff. So I'll just put a link down below in the description if you wanna look at it and see if it's right for you, you can get a discount. Now you have to take this with a grain of salt because they are a video sponsor. So take whatever you want. It's totally up to you. But the great thing I like about this company is they have a 100% money back guarantee for an entire year. So try the stuff out, see if it works for you. What do you got to lose? So let's get on with the video. The third thing that you need to do to control your diabetes and control your blood pressure, particularly your blood pressure, is deep breathing exercises. You do this once a day for five minutes. It's very simple. You breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'll tell you what you're gonna notice. First of all, stress goes down. Second of all, you're much more calm throughout the entire day because you're doing this. The third and most important is when you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, a super deep, slow, controlled breath you are stimulating nitric oxide to be developed in your body. You're training your body, just like you would lift weights to train muscles. 
You're training your body to create more nitric oxide, which is a gas inside the blood vessels that help open up and dilate the blood vessels. How cool is that? That's what makes you lower your blood pressure. The fourth thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna start drinking a lot of water. This is gonna benefit your blood sugar, it's gonna benefit your blood pressure. The important thing is to not be drinking out of plastic bottles that have all these chemicals in it. Get yourself a reverse osmosis system, buy clean water, but put it into a thermos like this that isn't plastic on the inside. It's very good, safe, it's got all the protective uh, things that you need to keep your water safe. I'll put a link down below for that too if you wanna look at it. So you just get them on Amazon and they're awesome. This is made by Coleman, I love it, and also keeps it cool. The fifth and final thing that you need to do is you need to stay off all over-the-counter medications. Over-the-counter medications, such as naproxen, aspirin, uh, ibuprofen, they start to damage your kidneys because it interferes with your kidney's ability to get rid of toxins in your body. And when you start taking over-the-counter medications, then you really need to hydrate. That's very important. Otherwise, your kidneys go bad. You may or may not know this, you probably do, but your kidneys play a major role in how your blood pressure is monitored. And unhealthy kidneys lead to high blood pressure. This is why God gave you two kidneys in case, you know, screw one up. But if you're taking over-the-counter medications because, you know, you're in pain, then you gotta find different ways to lower your pain. And I would suggest finding a great chiropractor. Of course, I'm biased, I'll say that, but I don't care what you do. Why don't you just find ways to naturally lower your pain? That would be an idea. There's lots of good supplements. This is one that actually helps. It helps you sleep, helps your body relax, helps muscles relax. That's why magnesium is such a good thing. That's why I'm suggesting it. But if you can find natural ways to lower your blood pressure so that you could take less over-the-counter medications, then you're simply saving your body and you're not gonna get diabetes and high blood pressure, statistically, as much. Now, if you're really serious about getting healthy and getting your body to be really strong and healthy, then you need to control your diabetes and you need to control your blood pressure. If you want a complete guide of my natural ways to lower your blood sugar, watch this video. If you wanna know how to naturally lower your blood pressure, watch this, this video. These are long videos, just to let you know, because I'm giving you everything for free. It's a complete guide. It costs you nothing. I'm not selling you anything. So watch those videos and you're gonna start to find out that you can help your body naturally.